Southwest Florida. You are looking live and listening live to the Dunbar High School Tigers Band. People are filing in, Greek letter fraternities and sororities, community uh, organizations, civil rights organizations, bands, kids, community activists, you name it, it's here. In fact, we have one of our preeminent community activists here, Angela, from Parents of Murdered Children. Angela, give your full name and the name, full name of your organization. My name is Angela McCleary. I'm the chapter leader of Fort Myers, Florida, Lee County, chapter Parents of Murdered Children. And I uh, think that you being out here at the Dr. Martin Luther King Day celebration fits right into your mission uh, with your organization. What is the mission of your organization? Our mission of our organization is ongoing support and awareness to the community of parents and loved ones that have lost their children to the murder uh, of this community. And that I want to bring it that our boys and girls that has been murdered had a dream as well. And their dream was cut short because they were murdered. When you think about Dr. King and the and, 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 and way things were when he was coming along, when, when the community stuck together, we didn't have the crime amongst ourselves, didn't have as much police unrest. Had it, though. We had it, though. And uh, our young kids are just dropping by the wayside. How do you think Dr. King would feel about the way things are going in today's society? He will be very disappointed because he fought and he taught and he preached what was right, the unity, the love that he showed in our generation now does not have that and they don't know and don't appreciate what they have in life. And with that, our kids are not being taught what they be uh, supposed to be doing in life and his dream that they don't really know about. And I think it's not being taught enough in the homes as well as in the school of what justice is and what love is all about. What exactly does your organization do? Our organization does it's uh, be become a consultant and as an ongoing support, we have group meetings that we meet together, we discuss things as well as court court appointments that we go to a court appointments with families that are going to court where crimes have been committed and the crime have been solved up until justice have been gone. And we also follow throughout the endurance of that person being arrested and we what we call a parole. And we go and fill out forms to make sure that person stays their time in jail. So we do a lot for the community and just act as a support group for one another. What has been the response to your organization from the government, including the police department, and from the community in general? Well, I have had great support from our chief, our new chief of police, Derek Diggs. Derek Diggs, yes, and also the city council. They have supported me wholeheartedly, financially, more, and every, anything that I need, they say that they are here. I'm trying to reach out to the community. Uh, we have about 30 members at the present time, and a lot of the people don't know what our organization is about because a lot of people don't want to talk about murder. They want to hide it and not speak about it, but it's real and it's true that our loved ones are being murdered at the hands of our neighbors' children and our children that has played together. And they don't realize that life is more precious than uh, them taking the lives of one another. Mm -hmm. The uh, How can people get in touch with you? There's a phone number, there's a website. Facebook, just give a couple of ways people can get in touch. Yes, I have a phone number. My phone number is 239-839-4348. And we also have a website, www.pomc.org. And also we are on Facebook, Parents of Murdered Children. What inspired you to start your organization? I know you had a deaf in the family. Yes, in June uh, the 7th, 2014, my son Deontay Redden and his brother Zachary Blue was murdered. And there's cases still unsolved. It's considered a cold case at the present time. And there was people at the house, friends that he knew and played with, grew up with, was there at the time, and no one have come forward. And this inspired me that I'm hurting, I'm grieving, and I understand what other mothers and loved ones are going through. So I decided to bring this chapter to Fort Myers, something that is much needed in our community. And I'm sure your son will be proud about your mission and what you're accomplishing. 
Well, I want to thank you for stopping by here on Leap His Live. And we'll continue to uh, help you get the word out about what you're doing. And thank you so much for having me. And you have a blast for now.